Yes, yes, yes. It's almost that time. Tomorrow. I ain't gonna say God willing. <laughs> but tomorrow, hopefully, oh, let me fix my little cut. Okay, I'm all excited. Tomorrow, hopefully, Joy Love will take us to the promised land. All right, all right, all right. Green Bay, baby. I hope y'all are Packer fans. If not, I'm sorry. Come on and jump on the bandwagon before it's too late. All right, so let's get to what we came to do. Listen, y'all, you know, knowing my videos, I've been very precise as to bring out documents and to, you know, show where the witnesses have figuratively dropped the ball. So I'm going to be very direct. If you are a Job witness, you might want to turn this off because you're going to get mad. You're going to get offended. And I really don't care. This is the for people that have people that have that have left being a Jehovah Witness. It can be the most frustrating thing in the world to try to get people to see that are in as well as people that are that are not affiliated with the witness to understand the depths of how those quacks maneuver into the soul of people. Um, if you're not a witness or you're not an ex-witness, you, you can never understand. Because you can talk to a witness. A person like me can talk to a witness and say to them, y'all believe, believe it's okay to gamble. And they will justify, well, we're just going to wait on your hope. When the beard thing, I, I talked about the beard thing about two years ago. Well, one guy told me, sometimes they want you to do things that are a little bit, you know, off kilter, and they're just trying to test your faith. In reference to who? Jehovah or them? So, I'm t listen, they are so full of garbage that it blows your mind. When they say... The elders make decisions. I knew of elders that had affairs for years. Now, if Jehovah's Spirit was upon the organization, these elders disfellowship people while they were having an affair. So what happened to those people? In witness eyes, those people that disfellowship, they're going to die. So that elder that disfellowship those people and they didn't come back, they're going to die because this man who was sinning and who was deceiving, trying to deceive Jehovah, but he didn't, these people died. Who blood is, where is that blood? It's gone. It's gone. I, I, just the way that the witnesses think will blow your mind. When, you, when you're in it, you don't see it. But when you get out, you see how stupid it is. Listen to me. If you are a witness, do your research. Look as to where you came from, where the witness, where the organization came from, how they view certain things. Why is it so hard for you to figure? I, don't let it frustrate you. But if a witness talks to you or if a witness starts rambling that mumbo jumbo, cut them off at the knees. Just ask them, what are y'all doing about the pedophiles? Have y'all taken care of that yet? If not, I don't want to hear it. I understand y'all can have tattoos, y'all can smoke weed, y'all can, uh, what else? Oh, man, so many things they can do. Um, smoke weed, get tattoos. Oh, they can also gamble as long as it's recreational. As long as it's rec rec recreational, they can gamble. Does that even make sense? And if you're a witness, come on, wake up. These guys are, this is a book club. It's a book club. They have investments. In, they have military, they have, they, let me see, I'm sorry, I don't want to lie. They have stocks in military companies. They have stock in Viacom. Now they, on the platform, don't look at radar movies. Watch what you look at. You're investing in it. Another thing, come on, listen. If you are a Jehovah's Witness, this is per their watchtower. If a church um, loses their roof, 
Hurricane come in, blows the roof off the church. And you're the only contractor in town, and you're your witness. You know you are not able to do the repairs on that church because they don't want you to put the cross up. That's it's an object. That's what they believe. But they will turn around and sell their kingdom hall to a church. Now tell me if that if that's not calling the what is it, what is it pot calling the kettle black? Come on. They are so full of manure, it stinks to, I mean, it stinks to holy heaven. So, listen, if you're a Jehovah's Witness, please, I, all I'm saying, look at what you do. Look at what you do. The reason the Bible has so many examples in it is for our benefit. Jonah, who was a prophet. Who, direct, who dealt directly with Jehovah. He thought he made, uh, he didn't think he made a mistake. He went upon his own understanding and he saw that he was wrong. He was willing to die for it. He told the guys, throw me off the ship so y'all won't die. But Jehovah kept him alive. They don't do that. Anything that they have done to cause people to die with their doctrines, or they just found out something. They said, hey, Jehovah, he just revealed it to us. They never accept responsibilities. Never. So how can you tell me or anybody else, we want you to come back to our faith. We want you to kiss the ring as to say, we, you know, we're, 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 we're not going to do bad things anymore. We just want to follow your principles. Please accept us back. And then you turn around and you have no you show no um, humility at all. None. Like I say, if you are a witness, please just think about it. Think about the doctrine that you have and how they keep manipulating this past year, maybe five or six doctrines. It blows your mind. That's all I got to say. My videos are going to get more direct. I'm going to pick out one item and I'm going to just hammer it on these quacks, those power eight and one quack equals an X. Stay tuned.